What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we are back with the powder actuated nail gun. So this thing has kind of become a staple on this channel. We've done a few videos with it now and it never lets us down. It's very impressive what these little nail guns can actually do. But today we are finally going to give this nail gun the ultimate test and put it up against a real gun. So this is my Glock 17 MCK 9mm, probably the most common handgun caliber in the entire world. And I just want to put each of these guns through a few different tests and see if the nail gun could actually be better than a real gun. Now this is what's called a powder actuated nail gun. As far as I know, these are some of the most powerful nail guns that you can get. And it basically uses 22 blanks to drive nails through things, which is probably why they're so powerful and the main reason why I started making videos on it. These things are awesome. All right, the first test we're gonna do is the cinder block test and we're starting with the real gun. So this is a self-defense round, pretty powerful for a nine millimeter. Let's see what it does to our cinder block. I don't think it went through, let's check it out. And there's our cinder block. You can see that nine millimeter took a pretty good chunk out, but did not go all the way through. And actually last week I made a video shooting cinder blocks with all kinds of different guns and almost none of them went all the way through. Cinder blocks are very tough. And let's try the nail gun. We got a big old two and a half inch nail for this one. You can see they got those orange collars on the end so that they fit snugly in the barrel. And we're gonna use a yellow 22 blank for this one, which is the most powerful ones that I have. We're kind of starting off with probably one of the hardest things for this nail gun to get through. So let's see what it does. Uh, I think it went through. <laughs> so that one even surprised me. Not only did it go through, it blew all the way through. And you can see our nail is a little bit deformed, but really not too bad. And then the concrete is just basically destroyed where I shot that nail through it. So I think the yellow 22 blanks might have actually been too powerful. I thought it would just drive the nail through the concrete, not completely blow it apart. So victory for the nail gun. So keep in mind, bullets are made out of lead, which is a really soft metal. And these nails are extremely sharp and made out of steel. So they're gonna blow right through stuff better than a lot of bullets would. Although a real gun is way more effective at other things, which we'll get to here soon. All right, let's do a body armor test. So this is a level 2A body armor panel. It's rated for nine millimeter, 40 Smith and Wesson, stuff like that. And people usually think of body armor as being really difficult to get through. But again, I think the nail gun will do better than the real gun because this stuff is literally designed to stop bullets, not nails. Once again, using the nine millimeter for this one, obviously there are guns out there that could blow right through this, but even with stronger body armor, I think we would still get the same result. I'm gonna go for that top left corner. <laughs> Look at the dent that it put in our mini fridge. Wow. And our nine millimeter went in right there in that top left corner and look at the dent <laughs> that it put in our mini fridge. That kind of tells you how painful it would be to get shot. Even with body armor on, it would probably break some bones. Let's go ahead and flip this over and you can see right there is where that bullet's at and it did not come through. I can feel it inside of there. Kind of a predictable result because again, it's designed to stop a nine millimeter. Let's try the nail gun. Now for the body armor, I'm gonna use a green 22 blank. These are not as powerful as the yellow and I don't think I need a yellow one for this. It should blow through pretty easily. Yep. And you can see where that nail went into the body armor there and clearly blew straight through. So again, a nail gun shot like that is almost more of a stab in a small pinpoint area and it just blows right through the fibers in that body armor. But unless you are point blank range on someone wearing a body armor vest, it's not gonna do you much good. Now, this might be the first test where the real gun actually wins. I'm not sure, but next up, We've got chains. So I've got a few of these things, all different sizes, and I just wanna see how hard it is to break open a chain with each of these guns. And I've never shot a chain before, so I really don't know what to expect. For this one, we'll go ahead and start with the nail gun. This is the smallest chain that I got. So we'll try this one first and see what happens. I don't think this nail gun is gonna do anything to these chains. We are gonna use the yellow 22 blank for this one since it's the most powerful and obviously not using a nail, just the piston. And we'll see if it can break one of these chain links. I'm gonna move my leg there. Oh, it actually did a lot of damage. I didn't see that side, but it almost blew straight through that thing. Let's hit it again. 
I guess we'll try the exact same spot. Man, <laughs> that is so close. One more and it should bust it open. Yep. You can see, completely broke it open. Now, I can't get any of the other links out of there because the hole's not that big, but it took us three shots to get all the way through. Just for the hell of it, let's try the biggest one that I got and see what happens. This is a 3 8 inch chain, and there's actually little welds on each chain link. I'm gonna put the nail gun right on one of them. It's obviously not gonna break it, but I wanna see how close we can get. Actually, it went just about as deep as it did on the first one. I would say five or six shots and you could probably break one of these open. So you can pretty much break into anything with one of these nail guns. Not only will it destroy padlocks, it will also break chain links if you hit them enough times. Let's try the real gun and see if we can shoot through one of them. So what I've done is I've hung it on this T-post here, wrapped it around and then hooked it on the bottom. So it has something hard behind it and doesn't give whenever we shoot it. Give us the best chance to actually break this thing. And once again, we'll start with the nine millimeter. If this don't work, I'll get out something a little more powerful. It's gonna be tough to hit because it's such a small target, but I'll try. Well, a couple of them went low, but we did have one hit it right there. And you can actually see the lead from our bullet is stuck on that chain link and did absolutely nothing. All right, let's try the 556. We got our 20 round magazines here for the new community guidelines. These are going about three times faster than the nine millimeter, but it's still just a lead bullet. So probably won't do anything to that steel chain. Let's see. Gotta make sure I'm holding them in the right spot. <laughs> Well, I was getting ready to shoot a couple more and I'm glad I didn't because check this out. Blew straight through it. One five, five, six is all it took. So let's get out a bigger chain. So remember with the nail gun, it took us three shots to get through the smaller chain and the rifle only took us one. So now I've hung up the biggest chain that I brought and I think I guessed it would take like eight to 10 with a nail gun. Let's see if we can blow through it with the five, five, six using the same ammo. I think I hit it. All right, we got a hit right there. And man, that is at least 50% of the way through that chain link. So one regular 5.56 can't break it. Let's try a different bullet. You guessed it, we're gonna try some green tip 5.56. The same thing we just shot, except with the steel core in it. Should only take us one shot if I can hit one of these chain links. Just barely missed it by like an inch. Let's try again. There we go. Man, that is a thick ass chain. That's impressive. So we'll try to find the chain link that we shot here in a second, but you can see how much more damage those green tips do when they hit hard targets like this. So, and here it is, holy crap, just completely blew that thing apart. And here's the mark from our regular 5.56. You can see how much more damage the green tip actually did. Finally, the real gun actually wins a test. So I've got to show you guys this because one of the coolest features of these nail guns is their ability to completely destroy padlocks and you don't even have to use a nail. It's just the piston that comes down the barrel. So you can see we got one locked up here. It is not coming open. And if you can get the right angle on it. <laughs> and you can actually see right there in the middle where that piston struck the top of that lock and it just blows them right open. Let's try a stronger lock. This is a master lock, probably the most common one that you'll see. And if you hit it right, it will blow this open as well. Got it. <laughs> that is so crazy. Shout out to the lock picking lawyer. That's who I discovered this from, but you can see 
it opened right up. Now, of course, if you could get a point blank range and press a nine millimeter up against a padlock, it would probably destroy it, but that would be incredibly unsafe and also very loud. So to save us all time and energy, I'm gonna run a clip from a previous video of me trying to destroy a padlock with a nine millimeter. It wasn't easy. There's what she looks like. <laughs> I mean, we are just lighting this thing up and it's not going anywhere. I can't even remember how many times I actually shot that thing, but it was a lot. Nail gun wins the padlock test. So the nail gun can obviously do some weird specific things better than a real gun can, but there's one very important thing that a nail gun can't do. Destroy fruit at long range. There's some left. You can't do that with a nail gun. Let's try some liquid. I don't care what the nail gun can do. If I could only have one, I'm taking this every time. So obviously this video is kind of for fun because I think those nail guns are absolutely awesome. But when it comes to self-defense and what real guns are actually made for, there's just no comparison. The main goal in a life or death situation is to create as much distance as you can between you and the bad guy. And a real gun allows you to do that. The only time I could really see a nail gun like that being useful for self-defense is if you're point blank range on someone wearing body armor and you had to take them out lethal weapon style. Other than that, a real gun is gonna win every single time. Well guys, on that note, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. These nail guns have kind of become a staple here on this channel and I thought I would finally come out and give it the ultimate test up against a real gun. In my opinion, the nail guns are cool, but real guns are cooler. There are certain things that a nail gun can do that a real gun can't, and there are definitely things that a real gun can do that a nail gun can't. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.